Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Holland's Classroom, where today we're going to be talking about alphabetic order. You might be asking yourself, hey, alphabetic order? That sounds familiar. What does that sound like? Alphabetic order. Alphabet. Yeah, we use the alphabet to place things in alphabetical order. Now, why is this important? Well, I'll tell you this. As a teacher, I use alphabetic order to list my students so that I could easily find their names. If I have friends whose names start with A, I know that those are going to be at the top of my list. And I have friends whose names are start with the letter Z, I know that their name is going to start at the bottom. But that's the whole point of alphabetic order, is to line them up by what starts in order. So let's start small, and let's just start with the letters. Okay, good. So we have these three letters here, and if someone asks me to put them in alphabetic order, that means putting them in order from which they come in the alphabet. And we can use the alphabet to help us out with that. So if I go through the alphabet, I can do this. A, B, you found B already? Okay, so we have A, B, C, you found C? There we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, that's our last letter. So this would be putting the letters in alphabetic order. B comes first, C comes in between B and H, and then H comes after B and C. That's helping us put things in alphabetical order. Now, let's try it with some words. Okay, so we have our words. Let's try the same principle. We're still looking at the beginning letter because that's how we're going to put the words in alphabetical order. So, A, B, this word does start with B, so that's going to go on top of our list. A, B, C, well, we know C start right here, so we have that. And then, oh, yeah, you already know. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We've put these words in alphabetical order. Man, you guys are getting really good at this, but let's make things a little harder. Okay, what do we do with words that start with the same letter? We have to use our thinking skills on this. So if we have words that start with the same letter, some of your names in your class, you might have someone in your class that has the same beginning letter in their name, and the teacher has to figure out, well, how do I put them in order? They can't be right next to each other. They have to be one or the other. So we have to use our thinking skills. So we know that C is what starts with all these letters. So they're all going to be very close. I'm going to put a C here and a C here and a C here. But now that we have the C, we can move on and see what's the next letter and if that starts before. So C and A, well, then we have A. A is the first letter, so it's going to be up here. And then we can determine what, what that one starts with an A too. Oh, that's got, yeah, we have an A in there. C and A, C and A. So we got to even think bigger than that. We have to be big brain on this one, okay? So we have CA here and a CA here. Let's move on to the third letter. Which one comes first? We go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. I heard an N. So I'm going to put that one there. O, P, Q, R, S, T. Okay, so that one then would be next. C, A, N, C, A, T. So, but what about this word? Do we forget it? Well, let's see. C, O. Well, O comes after A. So that means that word comes here. Do you see how we did that? Can goes first, cat goes second, cob goes third. So that's what we would do. So if you had two friends in your class and say their names were Zach and Zeke, you can actually see they both start with Z, Z, Ak, and Z, Eek. So we'd have to move on to the next letter. And the next sound we hear is Z, A, A, Z, E, E. So A comes before E, so Zach would come before Zeke if alphabetically, even though they both start with the same letter. Give that a try. Maybe in your class you can put your names on a list and organize yourselves in alphabetical order. Give it a try, and then let me know how it goes in the comments down below. But until next time, I'm going to see you all later. Bye, everyone. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like these videos, check out some of the other videos that I have. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye, everyone.